What's up everybody? Thanks for joining me for another World of Tanks Xbox One gameplay. I'm Rush Dodge and today I'm featuring the T110E4. It is a beautiful tier 10 tank destroyer on the American tank line. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching once again. Alrighty, T110E4, brand new tier 10, added to the garage, and uh, you know, finally excited to uh, show you guys a video with it. it. You know, it's not a bad little tank destroyer, definitely different than what I'm used to, at least at the tier 10 level. I've got uh, two other tank destroyers, and uh, both quite different from this one, rocking the FV215B183, and well, everybody knows what that tank is, the AKA Death Star. Uh, you're going for more one shots and stuff like that. Your reload time's a lot slower, so you know you're not committing quite as much as you are with this tank. The other uh, tier 10 tank destroyer that I have is the Waffentrager off E100, and uh, you know with that tank destroyer you're rocking a auto loader, and with the auto loader you are also rocking a very long reload time. You do not have nearly as much armor as this tank has. Uh, it's just a completely different experience to be playing with this tank. And it's a lot of fun. Once you get the hang of it, you can do really well with it, guys. Decent armor. Fairly quick, to be honest. I was very surprised how quick this thing was. Uh, just for the sheer size of it, the amount of damage you're doing, the amount of armor it actually has, uh, I was surprised how quickly it's actually moving. It's nice having the rotating turret. I mean, it's not a 360 degree uh, traverse, but it is 180, so that's kind of nice. Can't wait to get the T110 E3. Finally got that tank unlocked. Waiting on, uh, I guess, the 61 or 6 million 100,000 silver. And uh, I want to see exactly how that tank compares to the T110 E4. Now, definitely in the comments below, guys, you can let me know. Uh, what you guys think of the comparison. Uh, do you have both tanks? Let me know which tank you like better. I can't wait to show off the T110 E3 once I get that purchased. Anyways, a little bit of a different game for you guys today. I was very excited to show this to you. This is about game 25 um, with this tank. I haven't played a lot of games with this tank yet. Beautiful shot on the T54 E1 here. I was doing in between around 700 to 1000 damage I find and that is there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, rocking around 16 seconds for a reload time. And it's it's such a good little game for damage here. They're, they're stacking up on the left side. They're nice and open. And I'm just racking up the damage. Uh, right now I'm at about four um, penetrating shots. And uh, you know I was kind of anticipating this E100 coming out a little bit more. Kind of screwed up and hit the front mantle but four damage right now and you know that's in between 700 and a thousand damage so it's really easy to rack up the damage in this thing and of course on the left side having all these tanks coming out in the open and attempting to uh, move up I was racking up damage fairly nicely in this game now there's definitely some questionable play later on in the game uh, wasn't quite sure if I made the right decision but it's one of those things where you don't know until things are over <laughs> so what it is it is what it is uh, t30 out in the open here just reloading up quick and uh, hopefully get some nice damage in on him e75 there this turns out to be a nice damaging game guys and honestly the fact that it ended the way it did was kind of uh, I guess disappointing it could have definitely been a higher damaging game unfortunately and even with some of the shots I missed you know I'd like to sit back and just think you know how much damage could I have really gotten in this game T110E5 down there unfortunately I can't save this heavy tank E75 out in the open just nicely clip his lower plate there it was very uh, very close to hitting his upper plate probably still would have penned him but doing more damage on that lower plate E75 is barely still alive 
Now there's a couple problems that I'm facing here now. First of all, I'm getting outspotted. They just took out my gunner, so I used up my med kit to fix him up. Uh, nobody on that side anymore, and there's actually quite a few tanks left over there, about four, four, five maybe. Uh, the rest of my team, other than this T-57 that's been hammering down here, gotta give him a shout out because he played pretty good. Um, they're dealing with a couple tanks out in the open, and so I decided to change my focus to this side and see if I couldn't relieve them of these uh, tanks that they're going up against. Not quite sure where that round went uh, up against that SD-1. Must have hit a building or something, but I thought it was a pretty, you know, decently planned shot. Uh, AMX-50B here. Now this is perfect. Trying to lead him a bit, and the T-57 beside me actually clips his track, causing him to stop. Really nice shot. Ended up ammo racking him, and then Bunny finishes him off. So now that kind of relieved this side, right? I was hoping that with all those guys down, maybe they'd be coming back to give me a hand. A uh, little bit of misdirection here. Should have been facing a little bit more to the left. I guess uh, I just kind of got messed up here. E5 pops around the corner. He actually kind of clips my plate or lower plate there, unfortunately. Uh, but there is a medium tank right here. T57 and I don't even give this guy a chance to do anything. Uh, Wolf pack him kind of TD heavy style. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Anyways, land a beautiful ammo rack here. Turret flies off. Just awesome. Uh, we kind of knew that they were coming though, so we tried to get around the corner here, and this was a little bit of a clusterfuck. Uh, T57 trying to turn left. I'm on his right, so he had a hard time turning left. And of course, I didn't turn left right away because T57 was there, and I ended up getting punished for it. E5 shoots me in the back of the turret, and that wasn't very nice. I guess I could have staggered my turret a little bit, tried to angle it. Maybe it would have helped. All good. This is kind of when the game starts going downhand though. Like, I mean, both. The 57 and I, T-57 and I, we're hurting a bit. We're going up against this E5. There's a M48 up on the slope there. And now we're playing the capture game. And from this point on, uh, it's all about time. Look at this. Now they got two guys on the base. Two guys capturing. Just turned it down to 40 seconds. Unfortunately, we, we just couldn't do it. I thought we'd have more guys coming back to deal with this. And there wasn't. 57 gets picked off. And now... Uh, it's me and the 48. I thought I had uh, 30 seconds left there. Well, now a third guy gets on the base and they're capturing. And uh, it's down to the last 10 seconds here. And not including this 48. So, I mean, I could totally rush that base. What I'd have to do is I'd have to totally neglect shooting this 48. If I would have rushed right back from the corner when I seen the third guy get on there. And with that happening I probably would have took about 400 damage from the 48 and still had to worry about getting a shot off of one of those three guys without them taking me out it's really hard to see how that would have played out and it's really unfortunate it was a really decent high damaging game and I just I thought it could have been so much better anyways guys really appreciate you checking out another video here's the stats Look at the ma like 8,000 damage on a on a losing game like that, and I mean there's still tanks out there to shoot. It's it's really unfortunate. All good though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Really appreciate you checking out another one. If you guys liked it and you guys enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button. Uh, that helps me out a lot. And I just gotta apologize to a lot of the guys that uh, play Xbox and they're messaging me on there and they want to play and. Uh, sometimes you get platoon invites and stuff like that. One of the big things with uh, having my YouTube channel here is I don't have any of my notifications on. So sometimes it's literally the next day or a couple hours down the road uh, before I even get some of your invites or your messages. So I definitely apologize for that guys. It's not that I'm trying to slough you off. Um, sometimes I'm a little overwhelmed. It is what it is. But uh, hopefully you guys can understand. Anyways guys. Rush Dodge here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, definitely take care.